Um, Odin, how's the move come about? Um, to be honest, I heard um, uh, Birmingham approach me uh, and said that I was interested in Forest Green. Um, and as soon as I heard that, I spoke to my, uh, my old brother um, and he managed to sort it out. Um, and luckily it's happened. So I think it's a per perfect opportunity for me to go out, get games, um, and go and show what I can do. And there's been quite a link in recent years between Birmingham City and yeah. Forest Green Rovers, I suppose. Don Bernard, uh, the latest yeah, one yeah. before you, did you yeah. speak to him? Yeah, yeah, I spoke to Don before I come, uh, gave him a little heads up that I was going to come in. Um, and he just gave me a little heads up on what the lads are like and exactly how to be there, all men for welcome. Um, and he seems like a good place to be in around. And you know, from training today, I can tell that we, that we like to play. Uh, we play good football, so I think that suits me uh, and it suits my strengths. Yeah, tell us about your style of play. You're an attacking midfielder, I believe. Yeah, yeah, attacking midfielder. I like to get them, get them half turned, get at people, make things happen. Um, so yeah, that's what I that's what I aim aim a game around, base my game on. So if I can come and do come and do that here, it'd be great. What instructions have Birmingham sent you out with? Uh, just to go and go, just to go and do exactly what I do at Birmingham. Go and express myself. Go and show everybody what I can do. Uh, and yeah, just growing confidence each game uh, and hopefully see if I can uh, help, help the rest of the players. And you've had one loan spell already, bizarrely yeah. not too far away from here, yeah, at yeah, Gloucester yeah. City. How much will that just have helped you? Yeah, I think it's gave me a little, a, a good warm-up. Um, you know, just a little feel for coming to a different environment, being out of my comfort zone. Um, so I think that's, that's definitely helped me now coming here. Um, and I think, yeah, if it wasn't for that, then I feel like I wouldn't have adapted as well as I have. Uh, right now. And also, I suppose it gets you used to the physicality of you know levels below the championship. Yeah, no, definitely. I think you know there's a difference between twenty threes and and league football is obviously the physicality of it, uh, the tempo. So I think going there last season gave me a little heads up, and then obviously playing, uh, couldn't make a few appearances for Burnley this season. I think I've I've picked up the pace of uh, how quick how quick the tempo of men's football is. And not just played what was it six games, but also yeah. you've scored a goal yeah. for Birmingham as well, an important one as well, because it was a winner in a two-one yeah. victory over Middlesbrough. Yeah, yeah, no, I managed to get that goal, um, which is something I can I can keep me for the rest of my life. Um, so yeah, definitely a great moment for me uh, and all my family. So yeah, hopefully I can I can do the same here. Yeah, I mean you've mentioned about sort of um, the aims of promotion and stuff. How long is it going to take you to get fully up to speed to? At Forest Green? Well, I'm hoping uh, it shouldn't take long. Hopefully, my first touch of the ball uh, when I come on or when I, when I play in a game. Um, and then from, from my first touch, then settle in um, and get up to speed to things uh, quite quickly. And presumably, you're chomping at the bit to be involved against Macclesfield on Saturday? Uh, yeah, no, definitely. I think you know, hopefully, I'm involved in that. Hopefully, I get a chance to you know get, get thrown in so early and, and adapt to it. and and to go and show the fans what I can do. And have you been doing your homework on them? Um, a little bit. I've got, I've got obviously, um, Corey, who plays uh, for Macclesfield, who's at Birmingham with me. Uh, so, yeah, I think it, if I do play, it'll be, it'll be quite... Well, it'll be very weird for me to play against someone that uh, I'm used to playing with, alongside. Um, but again, these things are different challenges and different things that I overcome. Has there been a bit of banter already between the two of you? Or? Yeah, yeah, no, that has already been a bit of banter. Um, but again, that's that's just all part of it. Yeah, I suppose you're the one who wants to be bantering at five o'clock. Well, exactly, yeah. Just got to make sure he doesn't have the last laugh uh, after the game. Thank you, good luck. Cheers, thank you. Odin, just a couple from me. Yeah. From that experience with Birmingham, what's that been like playing in the Championship with them for a club that you've been yeah, at yeah. since yay high? And no, time? definitely, I think it's been, it's been massive for me. Um, I've seen my family and everyone I saw uh, the hard work I put in to, to get into that position. Um, and then I, obviously when I scored, I think that was just the icing on the cake to, to, to show everyone how hard I've been working. Um, but yeah, again, it's, it's, it's been amazing and I've got to obviously thank Birmingham for, for giving me the opportunity. Because Portsmouth game was your debut? Debut, right? yeah, 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 yeah. How was that and yeah, what's that, that feeling like coming um, on wearing that blue shirt? Yeah, no, he was a, li a little bit nervous when I come on. Um, but once I got the ball at my feet and I made, made my first my first few touches was, was successful, um, I think then it was, it was easy for me to then progress on into the game and grow confidence. And then the, the league game, like you say, against Borough. Yeah, yeah. What, what an occasion yeah. to be involved in. Am no, I right saying you came on a 
few minutes later they equalised equalised and then yeah. you got the, the winner, winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just talk me through those moments first coming on in the game yeah. and then what it's like scoring that goal um, I see looking back at it now it looks like it was just meant to happen I think I was just in the right place at the right time managed to keep my head alive um, and luckily it turned out the way it did um, but again before the game you can never expect it even going like that um, you never really expect to come on and score in such in such fashion but thankfully it did and you know, hopefully I can continue that goal scoring record there. Does that give the fans here a bit of an insight about your character as well that you're not phased by those big occasions yeah. and being thrown on when you need to and in Yeah, I mean I have got to adapt and handle uh, a lot of situations at Birmingham. Um, you know, playing in front of so many fans. Um, you know, so I think it's been it's been a very good good challenge for me. Um, and something that I think I've adapted well to. Um, I think coming here is just about bringing that same confidence, the same energy I had at Birmingham, coming here and expressing it to everyone and showing that everybody how good I am. I suppose it shows the fans as well that you're coming here with that prospect of moving on in your career kind of thing. Yeah, you're, not yeah. just, you're not just coming here, OK, I'm just ticking a box to do a load yeah, of moves. Yeah. This is the next logical step. No, definitely. I think this is the, the perfect club for me to come to, come to um, and hopefully kickstart uh, my career. Um, you know the way how we play. Um, you know it's great for me, suits me to a T. So hopefully, if all goes well, then it will just be the one of the first steps to uh, be a good career. And Birmingham alumni have already been mentioned in the interview, yeah. but Reese Brown, seeing what he did here, yeah, how yeah. impact he had, yeah. and what he's gone on to do representing Huddersfield, yeah, etc. Yeah. Is that is that inspiration for you? Yeah, no, of like course. It? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I know Reese. Um, I was obviously he was there when I was there as well, um, and I know what sort of player he is. So. Him to do, I know what quality he's got, uh, so I definitely think seeing him progress on to where he's got to now, um, that's definitely something I look up to, and, and hopefully, I'll do the same thing. Yeah,